Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to get started with graphics card or GPU rendering in cycles. Now I know you've probably watched a lot of video tutorials and that sort of thing and they've all been in cycles and everything's just fine and people gloss over the fact that um, well they don't gloss over the fact they point out that they're using GPU rendering um, and they've got this nice little box just around here that you can click and it switches between CPU and GPU and you've gone back to Blender and had a look and well the box isn't there so I'm gonna show you how you can get that box and how to use that box to increase your render speeds so I'll just go over some of the theory about how it works first GPU rendering in um, in Blender is relatively new. It's only been out for a couple of months, and it only works with Cycles Render Engine. It also only works with NVIDIA cards. Um, so far, if you have an AMD or any other sort of card, it doesn't work. There's been some problems with something or other. I'm not quite sure, but the bottom line is it only works with NVIDIA CUDA enabled cards. So CUDA is a I'm not really sure what it is but it's a sort of oh well it's is it's a parallel computing platform and programming model invented by NVIDIA. It enables dramatic increases in computing performance by harnessing the power of the graphics processing unit. So that's told you. Um, well that's all very fine, but to start off, you're going to need the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit available from nvidia.com slash content slash CUDA slash CUDA dash downloads .html. I'll put that link in the description and you just download and install that. And that's kind of fine. Um, you might notice that my card is actually not very good. That's because I bought my laptop about three weeks before it was announced that Cycles was going to be able to use the GPU. So I didn't spend very much money on the GPU and now I'm kicking myself. But it works alright. So let's flip back to Blender. So I've just made up this little simple scene Actually, I'll just put a subsurf modifier on Suzanne, just to get it looking a bit nicer. Yeah, that's all alright. Okay, so you've installed your CUDA toolkit. That's all fine, but you still don't see any little box here. That's because you need to change a few things in the preferences. So go to user preferences and go to system. Now there's lots of things in here that don't seem to make much sense. I certainly never play around in this except with this bit. Okay. You have under compute device you'll have none or CUDA. If you don't if you only see none, there's something wrong with your graphics card or you haven't got one or it's the wrong sort or something. Um, but if you have a CUDA enabled graphics card which and you have the CUDA toolkit installed you will see this option here. So click on CUDA and you see my graphics card instantly pops up in the box. I yeah if you have more than one graphics card I think it will give you a a list of the available ones just choose the best one. Okay so we can now close that save it and now at last we have the device CPU. I can, we can switch between CPU and GPU. So that's all very nice. So let's let's just stick on CPU for now. So if I now render this with F12, it's gonna do some fiddling around, blah blah blah, and this has taken. 7.36 seconds. Now I have quite a good processor, it's a quad core i5, but 
even my really not very good graphics card is quite a lot faster, or at least it should be. So we've got switch over to GPU. Let's re-render this. And you see it's taken longer. Well, that is because we haven't actually optimized the settings in the render panel for GPU. There is a in the performance tab or panel, there is this thing called tile sizes. Now, I don't really understand why, but the smaller the tile size, the faster it renders if you're using the processor, using the CPU. Now, I no idea why, but if you switch to GPU rendering, it renders fastest if it is 256 by 256. Save that and let's render it again. And you see this has taken 7.09 seconds. Really doesn't make all that much difference over this much, over this faster render. But as I said, my graphics card is not very good. It's only got 512 megabytes of RAM or something ridiculous. It's the the lowest one I think you can possibly get from NVIDIA. So if you have a, a GT600 or even a GTX, you'll see significant increases in render speeds. Even with this little rubbish card, um, on a, over a longer render it will increase the speed by 20%. So it's just um, speeds up things a bit. Apparently if you have a really good graphics card it can increase the speed by 90-95% which is really handy because as I'm sure you found cycles is not very fast compared to internal. So I hope you found that useful. I'll yeah put that link for the CUDA toolkit in the description. For those of you with AMD cards, uh, tough luck but keep your fingers crossed because I think they're trying to sort something out. But until they do, sorry and I'll see you next time.